Willow, Alaska. Last year, I gave you a whole bunch of fundamentals, things to play with. There was a few people left comments that flies are bulky. No, you fish sissy flies and you catch sissy fish. If you can't cast a two-hot fly, then you might as well just start practicing because it's rather easy. Got teenagers out there that are tying these flies and fishing them. And if they can do it, you can do it. Alrighty. Nuclear warheads from the nuclear research facility. And we'll start you off with a couple here I've already done. Had another comment, someone in a fly tying forum. Flytimeforum.com, which has banned me because I talk about my materials. Don't have anything else to talk about because that's all I've used for 16 years besides tying. Them. You want to use natural materials? Use it. There's a size one for all you people like them sissy flies and sissy fish. Now here's a size two. Long streamer. Which one shows up more to the fish? do you think will show up more to the fish? Let's move that light around. Just like it's moving in the water. You want to use natural materials? Use it. These patterns are not pat I mean these videos are not patterns. These are just suggestions on how to use it. Anything that is more boring to me personally is tying what other people have tied and tying them over and over and over. Because it's not creative. We were made to be creatives. If you are religious, our Father is a creator. If you're not religious, then go buy your flies and just buy what everyone else uses. That's enough opinion. What we're going to do right here, we're going to make this one. A little bit of blue, a little bit of green. That's a holographic gator back I'm going to be using. Actually, I'll use a teal green. Now, if you want to get into synthetics with it, and naturals, you can use it that way. I don't have any bigger ones. That's a six out. Use what you want to use and be creative. Have fun. It's going to be a light blue nuclear mission wing here again. For all y'all that don't go back and look at all the videos and then want to email me questions, I don't always get a chance to get back to them go like this. Fold that over. I do that over my tray. Go back to all the way to the beginning. Search for the Holy Grail 101 and then look at 102. Super glue on there. Just a little bit. Don't put too much because it, it counteracts or it reacts with these multi-layered shrimp film. No, this is not Easter basket stuff. That Analar is basically a film on what people call Mylar is a film on a piece of suit. If you're old, enough, Google it up. Right, now I'm going to use a little bit of bit of back blue. Actually, I've been discovering it actually turns an olive. I updated the colors on my website. That's a two-odd hook, O'Shaughnessy. See how I put a little hot melt glue on there to hold that. I'll probably do a little bit more explaining because 
company I was trying to get to do some time for me down in Nicaragua. Don't have any English speaking people and a gentleman doesn't speak enough Spanish to translate it over or spend enough time looking at the videos like they should have that I sent. I don't have the time to get down there. Nor should I have to. Alright, you can whip finish. Or you can put a little bit of glue on there. Because I have some hot melt glue on there in a bit and hold that on. And we'll take these heads, these based on River Road Bridge Cutters. This is my gator back embossed. Now, two ways to do this. You don't want to put any super glue up on here. I'm gonna get this just over like that. A little bit dab right there. And I had, if you saw a little bit of super glue right here, it's gonna hold that. And what I did forget to do was heat that up. Let me do that now. And if you don't know about heating it, go back to 101, 102. And the wider flies, clone flies, I explain about it. Got quite a few subscribers wait for these videos, not on board, I'm going back over it. Variable temp heat gun. I can't get them because the salesman also deals with that, which owns the what and everything else. And he looks at the higher commissions from selling to big stores. Doesn't worry about little people. So you can go down to Lowe's and get them. You can also Google them up. I know they're available on Amazon. Hey, we turned all that iridescent. As you can see, nice and shiny. Whole lot shinier than naturals. So no, I'm not trying to replace it. But no, I'm not trying to tie with stuff that was created way back in 14, 1500 centuries and actually if you go back to hieroglyphics what people report as the Greeks starting fly fishing, no. You can look at hieroglyphic where there's one pharaoh or nobleman that's using six flies at a time and we think we're good with a one trailer fly. They were fishing an aisle with six flies at a time. Here's a little bit of history for you. Now I could go down to this uh, seven. I could go down to four. I like a little bigger eyes on it. Gives a little bit more rattle and a little bit more target. Coming up to the end of the tape, I can get right here. But what I'll do, I got that front part I can cut off. Get you back on there. Sorry about that. Didn't see those eyes. Zoom you in a little bit on that head. Floating minnow head. 